a deep, dark forest. An evil man in a cloak. And a girl, a creature of the night, who lives hidden in a huge manor's basement. Hello, fellow bookquesters! It is I, Aaron the Bookquester. Today I am here with this awesome book. Serafina and the Black Cloak by Robert Beatty by, uh, the, yeah, and it is a really good fantasy book, and well, let's get right on to it. This book is obviously about a, someone named Serafina, a girl to be exact. She is not normal. She has amber eyes, and she, her, her bones aren't connected well together, and she can fit into really tiny spaces really easily. She can see and hear well in the dark, and well, she's just not normal. Her father and and Serafina has been living in the bottom and the basement of the huge manor that her, that Serafina's father works on, and in that manor, Serafina catches rats. Why? Because she felt like that was her duty. After all, she li lived in the house, and she might as well do something for it. But of course, there was a problem. One night, Serafina was just, you know, doing her usual rat hunting, and so on. But then, she saw it. She saw a little girl running, running away from a man. A man in a deep black cloak. Serafina tried to help the girl. The girl was absorbed within the cloak, and it was, it is horrifying. And then, the man, the man in the black cloak, tried to do the same thing to her. She ran and ran, and she managed to hide in a secure place. Then the next morning, she told the story to her father, but her father, who never did believe in any kind of ghost story, said that. Well, it wasn't. It can't be possible. There's no way. But then, the alarm rang. It rang that somehow a girl had gone missing. Very, very weird. And meanwhile, the electricity system, the Edison machine that generates all the electricity over the manor, shut down. It has been broken. Or is, was it sabotaged? Meanwhile, every single day, a new boy or girl goes missing, and Serafina finally steps into the light to uh, investigate. On her way, she meets Brandon, who is the young, oops, master of the house. Together, Brandon Brandon said that he was going to his uncle's house, and she thought that she might as well. Go with Brayden, and she rode on the carriage. And then suddenly, the carriage stopped. The carriage stopped. Then they came. Then he came. The man in the black cloak. He came with all his sorcery and magic and tried to absorb. I can't remember his name. Brayden. And it was absolutely terrifying. And they battled. They battled against the man in the black cloak and managed to fend him off. But on while they were doing that, he was absorbed. Who? The stable boy who was who was driving their horse. He was absorbed into that deep black cloak. Very scary, isn't it? Very sinister. Then, Serafina gets lost in those deep, dark woods. The woods that her father had forbidden her to enter. Inside, she finds secrets, wonders, lions, and many dangers and perils. And when she finally gets out, and then she starts piecing the clues together, who is the man in the black cloak? And then, will she solve the mystery? But then, 
If she did solve the mystery, who's to say that she'll defeat the man in the black cloak? That's for you to know, to find out. And like always, your bookquester and the bookquester. A great book, an awesome, thrilling fantasy. It reminds me of the Elsewhere series or the Graveyard book. An awesome book to read in a scary Friday the 13th or something like that. Nice book. Great fantasy.